Hey guys, welcome to Minch Adventures. So, day one of Gen Con. We're up, it's uh, 7 a.m. Uh, we're gonna be heading off to the convention in a few minutes. Uh, and then um, I've got a, my first event is the unveiling of the new um, Dragonlance book. So, I'm really excited about that. Get to go meet Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Hopefully, get my photo here. Got my Minch Adventures shirt on. My beautiful uh, cup made by my wife. Um, so, hopefully, I'll be able to you know, show you that. We're going to be uh, taking some videos around the place. So, yeah, and this is and this is where we're staying. It's a beautiful place. A lot of Airbnb. A nice little pond. This car we drove up in. Um, yeah, so the convention technically, I think, opens at 9 a.m. Um, we're not... I'm not... Um, my friend is going to be in the uh, the actual entrance hall when it opens. I'm actually going to be across the road at the hotel, which is where the book opening is. So we will check back in when we're ready for the uh, opening. Hey, so here we are at Gen Con. As you can see, we are at Gen Con. So didn't make the event this morning that I wanted to, but that's okay. I still got the book. And I got a photo with uh, one of the characters. One of the fans was dressed up as a character, so I can't wait to see that. And yeah. So this is Gen Con. So we're going to do a bit of a walk around and then I'll probably, you know, uh, you might see some live videos today. Well, on the day, so we'll see. But yeah, we're at Gen Con. I can't believe it. So there is so much to hear at Gen Con. It's absolutely crazy. Um, you gotta pace yourselves, honestly. I mean, I've only gone around the first um, Atomic Mass games for Star Wars Legion, Shadowpoint, X-Wing, and like I could have probably took hundreds of videos and pictures and stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. It's it's crazy. I can see why people say it's the best um, the best convention for board games. Sorry. Yes, it's absolutely crazy here, Gen Con. I mean, I've literally only gone around the Atomic Mass games booth and I could have probably took hundreds and thousands I just got turned around hundreds of thousands of videos to uh, you know be able to, to see everything like I mean they've got X-Wing games going on that's absolutely wonderful I personally I have X-Wing I've never played it um, I don't know if they're doing demo games that would be kind of cool to, to do um, we've got Simon games over there which I'm actually going to pop on over to to take a look um they just it's yeah it's crazy uh, i think we're going to head on over to simon and avalon hill absolutely avalon hill because you know me and hero Quest, so yeah all right so i think we're going to head on over to the avalon hill booth first and look at the new hero quest so and you can get my kind of straight off the bat review of what it's like um they have a wonderful booth here is the Avalon Hill booth. I'm loving this terrain. I think Amalganash, he did a actual, um, a, a quick video of some pictures that were taken of this. Um, but this arena, I'd store my miniatures on this if they released it like that. Um, we can kind of see the base game. Oh, it's a little crazy. Um, here we've got Mage in the Mirror, which we've done a review of. Um, Return the Witch Lord. Rise of the Dread Moon, and then here's the new one. So this is the one part of the Wandering Monk. Um, don't know if you can see the events. We have Touch of Endless Inferno, Burning Spirit, as well as the monks, male and female. Then some new cards: some Strength of the uh, Mountain and Speak with Stone, as well as Soaring Dragon, Eye of the Storm, Tidal Surge, and Elemental Stars. Let's see if I can get some pictures to kind of put up. And then you'll be able to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is definitely a, a good new, sorry, new character pack. I like the Middle Eastern kind of style of it. The box especially, and you get a little scroll. <laughs> um, I'm wondering what the tournament is and how that will fit into the game. But on the whole, pretty good. And then what, we've obviously got the Frozen Horror Keller's Keep, which we've done a review of, and the base game. Um, but yeah, I'm mean, cracking display from Avalon Hill. Really like that. 
This is the base game. Uh, as you can see, we've got the tournament kind of display stand. Again, I'm not sure if they just built this for the show or if it's something they'll release. Very interested to see how that's going to come into play. Um, yeah, and then the base game. And then here is the Avalon Hill um, booth. So, yeah, tell me your thoughts. So it looks like a new Jurassic Park game. Dr. Salah versus T-Rex. Oh, sorry, I was just doing a video on the new Jurassic Park game. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen this one before. Uh, oh, look at this. Is. Look at that. That is fantastic detail. Wow, I love that. And then it looks like we get some different boards. Um, Raptor paddock. Wow. Okay, this this looks like kind of fun game. So we got the Raptor paddock on this side, and then oh the map on the other side, and then I think it looks like you get some different maps. So I'm thinking story-wise. So here's oh, wow, there's the T-Rex escape. I really like this actually. You got the fans, the tour vehicles, and the cars. That is yeah. Oh wow. Let's see what else we've got. And then some other. Uh, oh, King Solomon's Mine. I guess that's something else. It's not Jurassic Park. But I am really loving this. I think we're going to have to try and come back and see if we can get a demo of this at some point. I mean, just look at that. That is fantastic. So these are the rules. Dr. Salad versus T-Rex. The unmatched system. Looks like you get two hero miniatures, which I include, I would assume it's the T-Rex plus the um, Dr. Samra. One game board. So I wonder if you like different sets to play. So here we've got T-Rex versus Ellie Sattler when the T-Rex is escaping. Um, looks like pretty simple rules. I'm loving the artwork from this. That is definitely cool. So I'm wondering if the, the Raptor Paddock is like an expansion or something. But yeah, guys, this is definitely something to take for us to take a look at. The unmatched rule set. So, yeah.